All right, I'm going to pick out an example for one of my projects, and then we'll move over to some actual creation. Uh, this is stuff for, I guess, module script communication would be the best thing to call it. It's so you can access code from any module script from any module script. So, you know, it's like everything is just one big database. It's very good for communication, and it's very good for bigger dev teams with more than one scripter. You know, they'll be able to work beside each other and use each other's code, even if they're working in different module scripts. So uh, we have this assemble method right here that I made, and uh, a little example would be uh, inside a game data, I'm requiring the server module script, and I can use its functions inside of another module script. Uh, another example would be, I don't know, let's say that I made a new module script and uh, I'll just name it new module and I did uh, all I'd have to do is do local server equals script dot parent and we'll require that or you know if I did server dot what's the name of that new module and let's say I had a method let's just say I don't know just something um, yeah let me put the method inside of this module And uh, yeah, there's our, you know, calling a function from a different module. All right, where to start? Uh, my voice might get cut off a few times because I'm just going to try and, you know, reestablish my game framework I've made. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start off with a server script and a module script. Uh, I'm going to name the module script server. And I'll, I'll just probably name this server handler. You can, you can name it whatever you want, obviously, but uh, the name of that module script is going to be, you know, key. Inside of server handler, we are going to need our uh, server script service. So I'm just going to do, we're going to get service for uh, server script service. And then I'm going to need a reference to that module script that we made. So that server ref is going to be server script service, wait for child, then our server module script. Then I need to actually require that server script. And that should be it for the handler right now. Inside of server, I'm going to rename this module just to make it a little easier to read, a little less confusing. And let's see, what do we got going on here? All right, so I have a function, this method called assemble. And what we do is we input the parent and the uh, server reference. And then what this will do is it'll find uh, any module scripts inside of the server module script. So, you know, I'll just do the new module thing again, just so we can test this later on. It's a new module script inside of the server module script. And then we're just going to start doing uh, some for loops, kind of uh, read the data that's inside of Explorer uh, in pairs. We're going to use that parent argument and uh, get everything out of it. And so uh, whenever we assemble, we actually want to ignore the server module script because it's already required by the server handler and we don't really need to require it again so we just check if it's the server ref that's that, that's the whole purpose of server ref existing and then we are going to check if it is indeed a module script and so this will allow us to put a module script anywhere inside of the server module script you know and it'll just uh, find it and then uh, what we do is we uh, use that server module script, that server as an actual table. And you know we're gonna be indexing our module scripts inside of this table. And this is where we can require V. And that'll require all the module scripts. It'll put the name of the module script inside of our server table and we'll be able to use it anywhere. And so then inside of server handler, I can just put a server assemble and then we are inside of server script service. That's where our server module script is. I'm going to put the server ref so that it knows what to ignore. And uh, if I test this module, do function. 
module something. I'm going to print something. Then I should be able to do server dot new module and something. And uh, yeah, there's our something. And uh, I use the same setup for client side scripts. You know, it's just that you know the handler script is a local script, and the you know server module script is just named client and stuff. I'll uh, I'll bring this back over and just show you. Um, yeah, there's you know client handler and client, and then yeah, there's some other stuff that you know I'll, I'll get into to just to make game design a little more fluid and a little more easier. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.